back. We're back in the Fox 61 by Carrie Kitchen with a guest we've had on here several times before, Chef David Bruselli from Park and Oak Good Restaurant morning. in West Hartford. Good morning. Good to have you back. Thank you for having me. We're making something that's sort of new to the menu and you wanted to I'm share with idea. everybody, right? I do, yeah. Uh, so we've been getting fantastic sea scallops in, mm -hmm. um, which you can see here. I love scallops. Really, really nice, uh, sustainably farmed jumbo sea scallops. Um, and we don't want to really do too much to them. So season them up with salt and pepper. And uh, we're going to sear them in a pan. And we're okay. going to serve it with beet risotto with a little bit of fresh I've never green had apple. beet risotto. So this is It's really good. good. Yeah. It's really good, yeah. Right. So you got all kinds of flavors of... Uh, of garlic and beets and fresh herbs. There's a little bit of asparagus in there, so oh, we're just about great. to start coming into asparagus season. Right, bringing in some right. of the spring vegetables. Yep. So we're going to want to cook our scallops in our nonstick pan, a little olive oil. Mm -hmm. We're going to get just slightly season them, right? Yeah, just yeah, a little no. bit of salt and pepper, and I have some uh, thyme and garlic. We're going to put in there. Now you don't crush the garlic there. Not this one, no, no, because we're not gonna actually eat that. We're just gonna use it to flavor. Okay, gotcha. So now we par cooked our risotto, so it's not like we're gonna make risotto here that's gonna take 25 that would take minutes. A little bit, a little longer bit too than long. the time that we have here. So what we have is a par cooked risotto. Okay. That um, we're just going to heat up basically and add cheese. That's what mm -hmm. you wanna do if you're hosting like a dinner party. Right. So it's very quick, so it should just be done in, in just a minute. Um, so you can do a lot of it beforehand. You do a lot of it beforehand, and then you know you can show off to your friends and make a, a dish that normally takes 25 or 30 minutes in no time at all. Right, right. Right. So. All right. Now we don't want to overcook these, right? Which is right. pretty easy to do. It's now, very easy to do. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard one time that if you overcook scallops, they don't go bad as far as they won't make you sick, but they do go bad in that they will not just be tough, but they'll actually taste. Bitter. They they do taste bitter. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not it's not very uh, not very pleasant. So you have to be really careful. Then. So you got to be careful. You got to um, got to go slow um, when you cook the scallops. In this case, we're going to just get a really good sear just to kind of show what we're doing. Right. Um, that sear looks so nice. And so our risotto, you can see, comes really quick. Mm -hmm. And we've not added the cheese. cheese. So we're going to just plate in just a couple of seconds, and you can see the scallops are getting a, a nice uh, sear mm -hmm. with the garlic and the thyme in there. As those continue to get that nice year, I want to men mention that what's something I think is great. Kids eat free at Park and Oak on Wednesdays, Wednesday nights. which is yeah. awesome. Yeah, so it's something we started I doing. I be a bigger fan of that. Having personally. children myself, <laughs> yes. you know, getting you a night twins. out exactly. with family to kind of bring the family together. Right. What better way to do it than to have a, a free dinner, right. you know, for the kids so with the um, with the adults. Right, so with, the, an adult, with an adult meal, you get a kid's meal. With an meal. adult meal, correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. so here we have our risotto. We're gonna take our scallops, which have been cooking. See, there's a beautiful sear nice. on there now. Yeah. Okay. And so we're just going to take our scallops. We got that beautiful flavored butter in there. Mm -hmm. A little bit of thyme, a little bit of garlic, right into the the plate. Finish with our green apple. There's the apples, yeah. Which is adds this layer of freshness and this this beautiful um, I love crisp the color. and freshness. And the it was amazing. almost uh, reminiscent of Valentine's Day. Right, I know. So you have this beautiful scallop dish. That is dish perfect. Hopefully, you can get a really good with view. With those green get apples. Get up close there. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And add a little bit of fresh parsley onto the top. And of course, if you have scallops, you're going to want to add some lemon. Right. Just like that. So what, it's a beautiful dish. We're going to have it for probably two or three weeks uh, mm -hmm. coming up now to, to kind of ease our way into springtime. All right, good stuff. So you can do it at home. All the recipe information is on our news app and on our website at Park and Oak, right on the corner of Park and Oak in West Hartford. That's right. All right, good to see you. Thank you, Erica. Thanks so much.